All righty, so we got somewhat of a pretty packed update today, and I don't mean packed in terms of new information, um, just a continuation of information that has already come forward. There is one new observation. Um, in fact, it was actually someone else that pointed it out. Um, and upon observation, it does look like something weird is going on inside Whitewater Canyon's forest. Um, but I can't confirm that, so I want to just stress with that little bit of information that I'm going to talk about in this video, please take that with a huge grain of salt, because I actually don't know anything about that, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was coming in 2022, to be honest. But I'll talk about that later. Starting off, um, the tents were obviously removed from Kingswood um, Theatre, and um, that was uh, two things. One thing, it is part of the whole grand scheme to remove Kingswood slowly over the next couple of years. Uh, there is no plans for Kingswood's plot of land, so I just want to stress that again. Nothing is going in Kingswood's plot of land anytime soon. And when I say anytime soon, I literally mean like three to five years. Like there's nothing coming anytime soon to Kingswood plot of land. I can confirm that. Uh, the park has stressed that to us. Uh, it is just not being used, so there is no need for the tents to remain up. So that is part of the process that they're going to go through. They're going to remove the tents, um, as well as those two tents were removed uh, due to a snowstorm coming. And typically Wonderland has to send someone up to knock all the snow off there to prevent it. So they just removed them earlier than expected to prevent further snow buildup. Um, and them having to waste valuable labor and resources to get the snow off. But again, you will see the tents coming down. That is part of the plan, but nothing is planned for Kingswood. So with that information uh, presented to you guys, uh, it does look like, again, take this information with a huge grain of salt. I do not have any confirmation or understanding of what's going on in this plot of land, and I'm trying really hard to present uh, very factual um, stuff to you guys moving forward. So uh, it does look like, emphasis on look like, that there are new buildings in Whitewater Canyon's forest, um, typically along the old, um, what do you call that now? I, I can't believe I forgot the name because it wasn't open this year. The like scarecrow haunted maze in Whitewater Canyon's forest. Um, corn stalkers. It, there's appears to be some new buildings and there's also what looks like a black construction fence. Um, and when I say construction fence, it's more like a landscaping fence. It's used to protect the environment around. Um, it looks like there. It looks like it's forming a path very similar to corn stalkers. And then um, there's the buildings. What look like new buildings? I can't confirm fully, but definitely uh, interesting. So we'll keep an eye on that because we do know that Cedar Fair has invested in a Ghost Town Alive over at Cedar Point, and that Wonderland would be one of those parks chosen for some sort of Ghost Town Alive experience. And it would be fairly cheap to add, and they could just throw that in in 2022 as an attraction, not a ride. Um, but again, that is a huge stretch. Um, but that does look like a, a potential thing that could be happening. Um, it also could just be a new haunted attraction for Halloween Haunt. Wonderland does work on those things. And with Halloween Haunt, you know, being all outdoors, they could be focusing on developing an outdoor haunted attraction and just upgrading it. So it could be several things. It literally could just be a haunted attraction that they're working on over there as well in its old spot. Um, but with that being said, um, the water main is done for the restaurant. So that's what they're working on. I have some close-up shots that you'll get to see in a second. Um, the water main was installed. Rebar has arrived, so they're going to pour the foundation. Um, the restaurant itself is actually prefabbed. It'll be coming in pre-built in sections, and they'll just be um, installing it. So I do think that Timber Kits is my prediction as to who's building the restaurant, as it's going to look very Timber Kits-ish, if that makes sense for any of you Canadians watching. Um, but nonetheless, uh, they're, they're moving very quickly now. There's a new construction trailer just behind um, the, the little roadway that goes into the mountain as well that has just popped up there. Don't know if it's for the restaurant or another project inside the mountain or just I know the mountain needs a lot of cleaning up um, and refurbishment, so it could be for that. Um, but nonetheless, I don't see a construction trailer for the restaurant anywhere, so I'm going to predict that that's for the restaurant. But... Outside of that, um, Dinosaurs Alive has had some new land development as well. It does look like they are starting uh, to remove the electrical and water features from Dinosaurs Alive very slowly. 
Um, again, I am going to fully predict that this is going to be a kid's coaster or family coaster of some sort. I know Cedar Fair and I know Canada's Wonderland. They build flat rides right around now. They start them for the next year. I do know that there are no rides coming in 2022 now that has been confirmed by the park to us. So it's not a flat ride for Planet Snoopy. It's not a restaurant because as you see, they start even big restaurants literally in the winter before they're going to open next year. Um, so I have to predict that this is land development for some sort of 2023 either roller coaster or it could be a Camp Snoopy expansion, which I think would include a small kitty coaster at worst case scenario. So even if it ends up being just a Camp Snoopy expansion, I do expect some sort of really small scale coaster um, that's kid friendly in that area. But I'm really fingers crossed for a, a kind of somewhat bigger family coaster that has a lower height requirement similar to um, Fire Chaser Express at Dollywood. But here's that water main I was talking about, freshly installed, coming up. Um, and, and you really like start to get the size of this restaurant in mind. So it's definitely a lot larger than I was expecting when I first saw the plot of land and like the construction fence. So kind of shocked by that, um, but really looking forward to it. There's a lot of new stakes in the ground and flags that lead under Vortex as well. Um, so I definitely think that they're going to be uh, revitalizing the area and making it a lot more beautiful as well. That's one thing I really like about Cedar Fair is Cedar Fair, whenever they add something into their parks, they kind of work on the area that that attraction or thing is going into as well. And they kind of like make the whole area that that attraction is going to sit in a lot more beautiful. That's actually one of my favorite things about Cedar Fair. So I'm really looking forward to it because this restaurant is going in a very bland area. And I'm really hoping for that Cedar Fair spark. Fingers crossed that it does get that Cedar Fair treatment um, as it is an area that needs it. But nonetheless, here's some of the new stakes over in Planet Snoopy as well. There are some new orange ones um, popping up along Dinosaurs Alive as well. So super excited about that because these are all really good signs. And there's definitely a lot more red and yellow flags popping up as well, along with some excavation digs. So we'll keep an eye on that and keep all the information coming forward to you guys because this looks like a very promising and exciting land development slash development at Canada's Wonderland for 2023. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this update. Hopefully it was super informative and to the point. Um, and yeah, hopefully you have an amazing Christmas. Bye.